Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's edition of Drawbridge Finance. My name is Levi Woods and I'm going to talk to you tonight about one of my personal rules of investing. Uh, the rule that we're going to apply to tonight's video is invest today, not tomorrow. It's one of my personal rules and I'm going to do a video in the future about my personal rules of investing. But for now, that's what we're talking about. So what I'm going to cover tonight is a little scenario. I'm going to introduce to you three new characters and um, they're going to be a kind of a investment vehicle so that we can we can see how different character choices uh, affect their final outcome. So the three characters I'm going to tell you about today are Alice, Bob and Charlie. And they have all decided that they want to contribute the maximum contribution to their TFSA in 2017. So the contribution li limit this year is $5,500. So there's different ways that we're going to look at this. We are going to look at their contribution date and then we're going to compare that at uh, the value at the beginning of the year, the value at the end of the year, and then we're going to flash forward 30 years and look at what their investment is worth 30 years from now. So uh, the first person we're going to look at is Alice. Now, Alice is a good investor and she has decided that on January 1st, 2017, she wants to put her $5,500 into a TFSA and it is immediately going to start making a compound monthly income of 7% because she's invested in something well. Let's just look at what she's got at the end of the year. She will have an investment of $5,898. So now the next scenario is going to be Bob and he's going to take a slightly different route. He is going to, he doesn't quite have that $5,500 right now. So he's going to make even contributions. So he is going to make a payment each month for all 12 months of 2017 of $458.33. And at the end of the year, he will have contributed $5,500. He also was a smart investor and he gets his, his money working for him right away. So his investment compounded monthly is returning 7% from his very first payment. At the end of 2017, he will have $5,713. Now Charlie, he is a little bit slower, but he's a still diligent investor. So he is going to save up his $5,500 and on the very last day of 2017, he's going to put in his his contribution of $5,500. So all three characters in this scenario have put in a total of investment of $5,500. All of them are returning a 7% return. Now, let's just quickly look at the values. At the end of the year, Charlie has $5,500. Bob has $5,713. And Alice has $5,898. So Alice is already slightly ahead of the game in this. But what we really need to look at is what their value is going to be like in the future. So when you're making these decisions, trying to decide what you're, how you're going to invest the money and when you're going to investment, making an early investment will pay off in the long run by a huge amount. So let's look at these numbers. At the value at the end of 2047, we are going to see that Charlie has made an awesome return. His 7% has turned $5,500 into $41,631. This is amazing. This is a tax-free income of $36,131. So he's done a really great job. Good for you, Charlie. Now let's take a look at Bob. Bob had, he made his $5,500 contribution a little bit sooner than Charlie. He made his on a monthly contribution but it was still the same $5,500. So at the end of 2047, his $5,500 contribution has resulted in an earnings of $37,743 tax-free. This is an amazing return. Now, so he's done a better job than Charlie. And now Alice, because she made her, her payment at the very beginning of the year, she actually has had the best return. She has made $39,140 tax-free. So I, I hope you guys take a look at this scenario. And if you're deciding to put into a TFSA this year, please get that contribution in as soon as possible because the whole reason for having a TFSA is to generate that income within the TFSA and get more income at the end of the year. So if you can get it in sooner, today's January 15th. Phone your investment advisor tomorrow, get the money transferred, get your money invested and working for you. It'll pay off by the time you're getting ready to retire. That's it for this week's tip. Thank you so much. See you soon.